So how divers, I am back with another video and today guys we talk about Hive Lord Planet Bosses, leaked images from the PS Store which reveal new automaton robots, flying bots, the new uproar of pay to win and much much more so stay tuned okay so yesterday i created a community post for players to win the new warband uh, i said i'd pick two winners and announce them today they are invincible you're seeing yourself on screen now as well as buck i blood if you're watching the video hit me up on discord to claim your warband guys now if you want to win 2100 super credits it's quite simple liberate this video with a massive thumbs up make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and leave a comment down below i'll announce the winners on tomorrow's how divers 2 video good luck everybody Okay, so we have quite a big one for you guys today, and we'll start with the PlayStation Store accidentally leaking via new images, new automaton robot enemies. Check these out on screen now. What is this, people? So what you're seeing is taken from the PS Store, and it's a nice high quality image too. And what we're seeing here, guys, is Automaton Walker, and it is absolutely massive. Now, yesterday over on uh, the Hell Divers Leaks, these were actually being data mined from the game, and you can actually see, guys, the size comparison of these to say the Bow Titans and the player itself. These things are absolutely enormous. There's no two which ways about that so yeah we'll see in these data mind via the image you're seeing on screen now from the game files yesterday but now we're actually getting in-game images from these from the playstation store and you can see there bottom left corner captured on ps5 so yes when these are coming we have no idea but they do look absolutely menacing and i cannot wait for them now we're going to move on quickly and if you guys notice those weird random tremors you are seeing especially on those sandy maps i mean i noticed these i was getting them like four or five times every single match last night and i did not know what was causing them i thought it was just random instances i thought it was when we initiated any kind of process to progress said missions to liberate the latest major order but it seems as though they are completely random now it is theorized and we see more and more images coming out on the daily looking like this image you're seeing on screen now this is in game this is like a, a skeleton of what could possibly be causing these random tremors we are experiencing now having further looked into these and what these may indeed be are uh, hive lord bosses these were in the first game and it's it's theorized that eventually how divers 2 is gonna see similar boss planets called enemy masters and this hive lords of the bugs is one of them and you're seeing an image of it on screen now now there's others guys there's a siege mech of the cyborgs uh, this is now obviously known as the automatons and there's also the great eye of the illuminates the illuminates are a new enemy faction to how divers 2 these were part of how divers 1 we've seen plenty of data mined images that this enemy faction will eventually make its way into how divers 2 uh, so yeah this could be another thing planet bosses guys known as enemy masters and this hive lord boss is just one of them and it was a part of the first game could this be what these random tremors are or are they just a part of the new environments we are trying to liberate who knows guys but more and more of these skeletons are popping up for these so-called enemy masters so we're just gonna have to wait and see but it's definitely interesting to theorize about something's obviously causing those random tremors we are experiencing and who knows what joel is hiding i would not be surprised people now yesterday i just want to quickly cover this again but yesterday i posted a video of new leaked audio files uh, which confirmed that automaton flying robots are also coming to this game now if you missed this actual audio leak uh, i'll only play the snippet but i'll link the original source it's like six minutes long but the snippet confirms that although we know of the uh, flying bugs there's also going to be flying robots too confirmed by our ship master in a new leaked audio file that dropped on the internet over the past couple of days so check out that sound bite on screen now i was thinking helldiver we know the flying bugs came from the termicide mutations but what about the flying bots you know is it just a coincidence that they started flying at the same time or is it some kind of bug bot collusion i'm just saying someone ought to look into that 
So yes guys, super super interesting, the game is evolving, the enemies seem to be evolving and we need to evolve with them and liberate people. Okay, so lastly we're going to move on to an opera that just come over the past few days now about pay to win in How Divers due to the new warband. This just puzzles the heck out of me, it really does. Now I saw a post from uh, IGN. I mean, is anyone surprised here? IGN. Blech. Blech. <laughs> but IGN state, How Divers 2's new premium warband is out now and players are defending the game, insisting it's not pay to win. Uh, but if you read the post, guys, obviously just baiting people, trying to create these wars for no apparent reason. Um, and the thing is, people are complaining that the new warband is pay to win, but super credits you can earn and find randomly in the game scattered all over planets it's not pay to win at all i mean if you're stupid and you waste these super credits then you obviously if you want to get this warband if you want to get the weapons exclusive to it you will have to pay for it but pay to win we're playing a pve game we ain't playing a pvp game where even is this uproar coming from why are people complaining i mean if you want to experience a game in better fashion if you want to experience a game with better weapons if you want to experience the game the way it's meant to be experienced play the game the way you want to play the game it's as simple as that Weapons being tied to war bonds, which can generate them a little extra profit is absolutely no problem in my opinion whatsoever. But the fact is the currency used to buy these war bonds you can find in game 100% free. I haven't bought any super credits for myself, bought plenty for the winners of my giveaways, but none for myself. I am literally about 40 super credits off being able to buy this war bond. They're just simple super credits I found in and around the maps when I'm doing my missions. Simple as that guys, that is it. So the uproar here, uh, I think it's just being taken completely out of proportion. I think people are just using it to insinuate further hate, drive further hate towards the game. And obviously, even though I'm an Xbox player, I play mainly my main console is Xbox, although I'm enjoying Helldivers on PC. I think a lot of this may be also driven by Xbox players too, hating on the fact that Helldivers isn't on their platform. And hate happens, it happens with PlayStation and Power World, hating on the game, driving the uh, narrative of Power World ripping off Pokemon in regards to the design of their powers. I mean, it just happens, there's bitter people out there. But it's how divers to pay to win in a PvE kind of game. I mean, even if that did make sense, it's absolutely not pay to win whatsoever. The currency to buy this war bond and get these new weapons you can earn in game 100% free if you play your cards right and you're smart. It's as simple as that. So no one has to pay for absolutely anything if they do not want to. So therefore, pay to win. Uh -uh. On that note, guys, the end of the video has arrived. I'm jumping back on to liberate and push progress towards this new major order because I'm super excited to see what happens to the state of the game upon us completing it. What's coming, what new is going to be on offer, I cannot wait. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.